Hi, I'm Strength and Conditioning Specialist Mike Mejia, and welcome to the third installment of my series on improving first step quickness. Now this time what I have for you is one of my favorite drills for improving reaction time, and it's called a tennis ball drop drill. And all you're going to need for this drill is a tennis ball and a partner that can help you. And it really is a fantastic way to help you increase your explosion and first step quickness. So let's take a look at how to do that drill right now. In this first version of the tennis ball drop drill, the athlete adopts a linear sprint position with one foot slightly ahead of the other. Now as you can see here, he's got his feet positioned in such a way that he's able to just load up and explode forward in reaction to my dropping the ball. And the objective being to retrieve that ball before it has the opportunity to bounce twice. Now because one foot is in front of the other and he's positioned for a linear sprint, there's no need to slide the front foot back or take what's known as a false step. Things are about to change, however, when we adopt what's known as an athletic or ready position. Now here, because the feet are shoulders width apart and the objective is still to sprint forward in a linear fashion, we're going to need to take a quick jab step or plyo step backwards to reposition the body so that it's in the right position to explode forward. As you can see, the athlete has the feet about shoulders width apart, and then it's a quick jab step to get going and take advantage of the body's innate ability to react. Now here, we're showing you a freeze motion version of the same drill, where the feet are shoulders width apart, and upon reacting to the ball, the athlete takes that quick jab step backwards, and then gets himself ready to explode forward. Now we're going to show you the drill in fast motion, where the athlete is set and explodes forward. Notice how quick that jab step is, just enough to reposition those feet for a linear sprint. 